wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And that gets things running. Forward it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that is as far as they're going to go. Well, that's where he wants it. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Played towards the front men. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Goes direct to the front line. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Quick pull forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. One way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Looks to bypass the midfield. Hoists it forward. Mohamed Salah hurtling down that right flank. Oh, smart save. Mohamed Salah. Shot a goal! All oh, the balls come loose. Lovely bit of skill there. It has got through to him. Plays it out to the wing. It's a great ball. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Egypt head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Are the team any further forward than they were when they started out? And we're already back on the way here. Egypt clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And it's played forward. Acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Attempts to play it through. Trezeguet, he's onside. And they've been caught out here. Played it again. <laughs> he won't reach that. Drives it towards the front. Ha 
Has he found his man? Chance! Oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, the referee's seen the board, and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Time to deliver. He's in! Goes for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. A oh, nice touch. A chance to play it in. A heavy challenge. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Towering header! It's bounced out! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goal. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. And we are already back underway. Straight through to the keeper. Hagazi up towards the front line. Caught offside that time. Just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Hoists it forward. Cleared away. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. And we're off for the final time. It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. It's being played forward. Defenders on the back foot. Forward it goes. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. The final whistle and confirmation, we are headed for penalties. 
Yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. Pressure and nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. Keepers read that beautifully. He was so focused there, fantastic save. And he's found the corner. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. So this one to restore parity. Oh, he cannot score. Egypt looking to extend their advantage. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. And the lead is two. The third man in the queue. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. So can he do it? And he delivers! Egypt have taken the full distance and then some, but they got there in the end. Well, it's been such a long match and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game, but I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.